You may have heard of Zeus, arguably one of the most well-known of the ancient Greek gods. And that's no coincidence. As well as the god of the sky, Zeus was thought to be the king of gods, and the father of many gods you may have heard, such as Hercules, Athena, Apollo, even the goddess Artemis who we've explored earlier in our Seven Wonders series, amongst many many other gods and goddesses. So it's no surprise that our next and final wonder is one dedicated to this legendary god of Olympia. The statue of Zeus at Olympia was constructed around 435 BCE and was placed inside the Temple of Zeus at Olympia, a town that was dedicated to the gods and was home to the original Olympic Games from 776 BCE, way up until at least the year 393 of the Common Era. This of course isn't to be mistaken with Mount Olympus, the tallest mountain in Greece, and what was commonly thought to be the home of the ancient Greek gods. In fact, Olympia is actually nowhere near Mount Olympus, but countless people nonetheless made pilgrimage to the site to celebrate their many gods. The Temple of Zeus was built just a bit over 20 years earlier, and like the Temple of Artemis, was peripteral in form, basically a temple that is surrounded by columns. The temple on its own was a marvel, measuring over 20 meters high, almost 30 meters wide, and over 70 meters in length. The structure was adorned with intricate carvings of not just Zeus, but many other gods, such as Hercules. But it would be the statue of Zeus itself that would make this temple worthy of its wonder status. The statue of Zeus was built completely by hand by famed Greek sculptor Phidias, who had constructed many other notable structures such as his statues of Athena, outside arguably the most well-known structure from ancient Greece, the Parthenon. It took Phidias 12 years to build this 12-meter wonder. That's double the size of the similarly posed Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., and was a chrysalephantine structure, meaning it was sculpted using gold and ivory, some of the most precious and expensive materials throughout time. Zeus was presented sitting down, grasping a scepter, with an eagle perched at the top on his left hand, and holding Nike, the goddess of victory, on his right. His throne was decorated with many paintings, as well as even more precious materials such as ebony. His statue was also thought to have been constantly coated with olive oil, to preserve the delicate ivory which would otherwise not have done well in the marshiness of Olympia. The statue of Zeus stood proud in Olympia for about 800 years, having perished without any duplicates or copies sometime in the 5th century CE. Some say it was heavily damaged in a fire in 425 CE, others say it may have been taken to the Palace of Lausus in Constantinople in 475 CE, a palace that was home to a vast collection of ancient mythological statues where it would soon see another devastating fire. Either way, as ancient Greek religion fell out of popularity during the turn of the Common Era, the Temple of Zeus would have fallen into disrepair potentially hundreds of years before its final disappearance. For as much as we value modern technology and architecture, it is amazing to see what humans achieved thousands of years ago with much simpler tools than we have the fortune to use these days. And with examples like the Great Pyramids of Giza, we still don't even know how exactly they did it, with all the time between us and the geniuses of the past, there is still so many mysteries to unravel with the wonders of the world. It doesn't help too much that only one stands today. And even then, we're still discovering brand new things about structures built a very, very long time ago. You have to... wonder... what intelligent beings thousands of years from now will consider their wonders of the world from our age and how much of the context as to why and how we built things, like the Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower, will be lost in time. As we ponder those thoughts, we here at Rounded Kids are looking forward to unraveling more mysteries of the past and fully appreciating the wonders we have in the present. <laughs>